having like a busy um, day I'm making a wall art for the market and looks like this and it's inspired by this book in English is funny story and I have this element here I'm super happy how it it turned out and these details in pink I will have after because I already have so many colors here so yeah but I'm really enjoying this process so the rest of the afternoon I will be working on this and yeah I will press on the iron and then I will sew in this not fabric I don't know the name in English so to finish and put in the frame I think they turn out really cute a little bit floppy but I will press that and yeah so today I didn't sleep really well so I'm with a little bit of lack of energy and I don't know I think maybe I'm a little bit anxious about the market I have high expectations for this market and if it will be bad in sales I will be a little bit sad because it's a big good market focused on artists and different kinds of, of art so I don't know I'm feeling the pressure and yeah I feel I still have a lot of things to do so I'm super excited to finish this wall art and pick up the headbands because I love them I already make the little uh, price tags to put on the, on the booth so I don't know, I'm feeling an, a little bit nervous and it's a lot of things going on this week so wish me luck <laughs> So it's already almost 6 p.m. 
school and I was working in other thing and now I'm looking at this book cover it's really beautiful let me show you and this it will be uh, the inspiration for this headband I will make maybe two flowers of this one and two flowers of this one and some leaves let's see I really really like this cover it just perfect so let's pick let's pick up the yarn for this okay so I need like a this color mm, maybe this it's not exactly but and a yellow I will make mm, let's see I think this one
relationship. It was so much reading. So guys, now that I have every piece ready for the market, I want to show you the pieces that I have because in other... I love to watch this part in other, other people's vlogs. So let me show you what I'm bringing to the market tomorrow. Let's start with the headbands that you watch me make it. So I will I have this one. I will put the books, the inspiration book here. This this one. I have two of these ones because one I will use it then this one this one is 
more simple. And this sweet pig, <laughs> pig flowers. It's the first time that I have this product that I made, that I make headbands, so I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I don't know how it will go, but I just love them and I hope the people also love it because I love the aesthetic, I love to make them, so yeah. I hope other people love it too. Then I will. I have two big wall arts. This one. And this one. This one I think you watch it in the vlog it's also the first time that I have this product but I think it will it will be really cool I love the wall arts and then I have a few pieces that I already bring to the previous market that I have so These bags are like promo pieces. Uh, because it was the first bag that I made, so I have them in in a special price. Then I have this book sleeve with this cute dog. I have like five pieces with animals based in a book cover that I really I really like it. Then I have this bag with a bunny and then I have three uh, air reader pouch to in a size small. I love these pieces, honestly. I hope the people also love it. And the cat. <laughs> this book cover is so cute that I decided to make all the animals. And then I have this piece more. It's also a, a reader case, but in a medium size. These pieces are like fluffy inside to protect the air either and always my embroidery logo. Sorry, my camera. I think it's because of the window, but yeah. Then I have this book pouch based on Ansapana Broken Art. This is from my Valentine's collection and it has uh, like a pocket to put a pencil and sticky notes to annotate the book. It's uh, like this size to put like a paperback uh, book. And last, no, not last, but I have the Magnolia bag. I love this bag. I have one myself <laughs> and I wear it all the time. I think it's so cute. I love the bow. I love the little bees. And last, I will bring my book cover critic sweat. Uh, you don't you can see yeah. I will wear it mine because I wear it all the time 
and yeah let me know which piece which piece are your favorite and yeah see you soon editing cut here I was editing the vlog and I noticed that I didn't talk with you about the market I leave the market feeling really happy because the feedback from the people was really nice and I never had this kind of reaction almost everyone who passed by my my booth uh, stopped to to meet me to say something about my work compliment my work so it was really great in the in that matter i feel really i feel really happy with the reactions of the people in terms of sales uh, Honestly, I was expecting more. It's a, a good market. Uh, the vibes were really good. I ended up selling one air reader pouch, one head, and two headbands, basically. This paid the, the price that I paid for the booth and some more money, but I was expecting more, of course. I <laughs> I saw a lot of uh, small business owners from uh, USA and other countries, but especially uh, USA, I think. And the reality of these uh, small business owners, it's really different from my own so sometimes i think what i'm doing in the wrong way what i'm missing in the markets do people buy my things i honestly don't know it's difficult to understand why people love so much the pieces and then don't buy it I know the price range is not so uh, quick buy, you know, it's not like 10, e 10 euros or 15 euros, my medium price is like 40, I know it's 
kind of uh, eye price but it's a fair <laughs> price you know it's a, it's difficult to understand how can how can i have more sales in the market so but i leave there feeling really grateful for that opportunity and in the other market there i will be there i hope and the energy was great, meet the people was great and I was able to talk about my business, give some uh, bookmarks to promote my business and the reaction was really good but at the end of the day I need to make sales to my business survive, to, to my business survive and grow so yeah I need to understand how can I improve that and if you have some tips I will be really grateful to wear that maybe markets are not for me I don't know I was talking with uh, other artists and she said she sells a lot online and in stores but in markets she don't sell anything and yeah it, that's okay but she is already uh, she already have a strong business in online and in stores so this is great i'm still growing i'm still trying to um to have a strong business as well i need to make more sales to be sustainable so i sometimes i think i'm a little bit lost what can i do to improve that part to improve sales in markets to improve sales online it's i know it's difficult but I was just want to talk with you about this today I'm not in a super great day so maybe I'm a little bit ne uh, negative <laughs> so don't pay me so much uh, importance but yeah I loved that market and I hope I can improve and I hope I can make more sales in markets and yeah because otherwise I'm I'm making stock that sells so slow the, I don't know I don't know if it makes sense or not I think the next step is to contact uh, libraries contact stores to be possible to put my um, products there um, yeah let's see thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for everyone who subscribed to my channel if you enjoyed this video please subscribe give a like leave a comment this will help me a lot to grow my channel and yeah i'm really happy making these videos and i hope you like it too see you next week bye